I can't say that I wasn't really expecting anyone to be here. So there's definitely that. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy to see you guys here. <clears throat> yeah, thank you for the follow, Wisdom. Yeah, I think today we're gonna just um, continue going on with the activity tracker. It says we gotta go on to Lumbridge, which we are here now. Uh, and then we gotta activate the lodestone. I figured we might as well stream it because it's better for the interaction, right? You guys can actually see what's going on live. Eventually, we could actually start doing some stuff together. Uh, okay, so we can do a quest first. We can go to the catacombs, do cooking. Let's do a quest. Star of the cook's assistant is embarked on your map. All right, this is cool. So is everything here guided? Is that what's going on? I think everything is definitely guided. All right, uh, what's wrong? It looks like it's the exact same. Okay, so we got get that. Yeah, it looks like it's the exact same story though. Just you got to get special ingredients. I learned that from the comments. But I mean, that's that's another, that's a whole part of like why I was doing some of those clips too because it's a part of like the whole new player experience, right? Like, how are we supposed to know that stuff going into the game if we're not explained to it, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that you could customize the UI. It doesn't tell you, hey, by the way, you can move stuff around and resize it and you know snap it to things and do all this other kind of stuff. No, it doesn't say anything. I only found out because I was messing around with stuff. Having a border around the quest area is actually really convenient. Today we'll conquer the Lumbridge achievement paths. See what's going on with all that. <clears throat> okay, before I talk about this area, because number one, this doesn't exist, so I don't know what the hell is is here. Um, do they explain this stuff in a quest, and I should worry about that then, or? Do they not really talk about this? Summer events. So NPCs also talk about the history of the crater. Okay. Okay, so this quest is basically exactly the same, except you get 20 sardines and two keys. This is cool. So it tells you exactly what you need and what you're gonna get. So in one of my comments, it talked about that like the monster levels for things are completely irrelevant compared to players. So like this rat, right? It says that it's level nine, but if it was to be like player stats or whatever, it would be like level three. So you're just, your DPS is basically just off the charts, so to speak. Oh, oh hi, how convenient, A little search icon. So let me ask you guys this. The ancient bones, do they do this as a way for people to preserve, like, the status of being a peer, so to speak? I think that's why it was introduced originally, if I'm not mistaken, because they made this change specifically, like, 2010, 2009 or so. Do they do that throughout so people can make peers and stuff still, or? I don't even know peers were still a thing after EOC. Oh, uh, complete the blood pact. We've done this one before. I remember this. That's where you got that sling. It come out. 2010. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck, he's not using a sling anymore. What happened to my sling? I'm not limiting myself to any aspect of this game whatsoever. It's kind of why we've actually made a normal account. Uh, if I decide that, hey, you know what, this is, this game is actually worth it and I want to keep playing it, then yeah, we'll probably make an Iron Man stuff for sure. Yes. Die. Okay, yeah, I'm ready for my reward. Let's move on. I feel like, you know, having the... I don't even know what to call it, like a catalyst kind of rune? To like, all their basic spells use mind runes as the secondary, you know? Like, it made sense. Why did they ever take that stuff away? Okay. Wait, wait, so there's... You can have a farm in this game now? Hmm. Dinosaur farms. Explain to me what a dinosaur farm is. It's called Ranch of Time. 
Branch Out of Time as an expansion to the player-owned farm that was announced in 2019. Okay, so this is new as well. You can literally breed and raise dinosaurs. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Something else that one of the guys was telling me too is that uh, the movement isn't grid-based anymore. It's hexagon-based, which is different. Okay, so we just killed level 26 at level... Oh, hey, we're combat level 10. Huh. Not a lot of people play stuff for fun anymore. I'll sell you the statues. Two, three, four. I have a thousand. Okay. Huh. Got 3k. I want to say it was like 2009. Jagex released a different kind of tutorial where you actually started in Lumbridge. And you started in a like the basement and you had to fight a dragon with uh, some knight. I can't remember what the hell his name was though. And then you ran around Lumbridge doing all these different kind of tasks. That's exactly what this is basically. Because traditionally, I would make a free-to-play account and to prove to myself that I would stick with it, I would do all the free-to-play quests and complete Dragon Slayer. And upon completing Dragon Slayer is when I would go and get members. So that's what I was gonna do. Same for this. Oh, they changed it to a mini quest. What the fuck is a mini quest? Witch's Potion is now a mini quest too. Really? Huh. You can drag and drop it. Really? I can just fucking chuck it like this. Fuck yeah. Oh, or that just ate it. Huh. So I could just be like, pick this copper ore up and be like, fuck you and throw it. And it just... Ah! Huh. Okay. Okay. I like that. Because that's one thing that I don't like about the old school culture as a whole is that it's no longer about it's no longer about going out to do stuff with people right it's no longer that that community it's all about i'm gonna fucking sit here and at this computer and bank stand all day with ahk and fucking get the mask or the max amount of gains that i possibly can i hate how it's changed into that because like I'll, I'll go and talk to some people and be like hey do you want to go do this mini game or something and no one will want to fucking do it because it's an XP waste. As a whole, I fucking hate it. It's ruined the game. I don't know, it's too bad because like, why did we play this game originally? What drew us here? And it wasn't because we liked clicking on something like uh, the same pixel all damn day. No, we started playing this game because we liked playing with our friends from school. And then we started meeting other people, you know, across the world. Like, I, I, I even still speak to some of the guys that I used to play RuneScape with on Facebook. And I added them in like 2007, 2008. Some of the, you know, the greatest people I've ever met has been through this game. It's part of the reason why I actually kind of still play it. I can still talk to them. Wait, Iron is now level 10? Hmm. You need 10 attack to wear- what? Hold on. The fuck? Did they change everything? Okay. Yeah, iron weapon is level 10, steel is 20, wax is 25. What the fuck is this? You can right click to add tool belt. Hmm, perfect. So that works for basically all the tools if I ever upgrade them. So does it just make the old tool disintegrate? I, I'm sure dragon weapon or dragon equipment is not really worth a lot these days. But I would still feel sad if it just disintegrated. I should get the iron back? Okay. And we'll have to test that out later. I always saw it in the distance, right? Like you can I know that's the magic mage tower, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. But I don't want to spend every episode that I make about this game talking about how beautiful the game is. Because it is a little subjective and... Oh shit. The boats actually look like fucking boats. But yeah, man, this looks... Everything actually is to scale. It's crazy. Hands down, probably the most beautiful game that I've ever played was Destiny. This is getting pretty damn close. As far as, like, environments are speaking. Welcome to play our own ports. I need 90 or higher and one of the... Alright. Interesting. Well, I guess we won't be there for a couple months. 
All right, where do you guys, I'll let you guys decide. Should we do Wizard Tower quest, Draenor, or Vera? Wizard Tower? All right, fuck it, let's go. Talk to Ariane. Valina, the tower is in danger. I need to speak to Archmage Cedridor. I'm sorry, Ariane. The Archmage was clear. Maybe if you told me why, I could pass on a message. I can't explain. Listen, if the Archmage can't see me, perhaps I could speak to Wizard Eleron. I'm sorry, Ariane. You are barred from entering the tower for any reason. Okay, what's going on? This is none of your business. No, wait, I recognize you. You're the adventurer Zen you mentioned. Will you... Could you sure, take a message to Archmage Cedridor for me? Depending on how he reacts, I may need your help. And... Mind Spike. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Just go to Archmage Cedridor. Wait, no. Too late, there's some... I shall it omen, the holy archmage! Be gone, spirit imp oh. Come on, my message can wait. Let's see what's happening. Cast airstrike at the vortex. Draw it into the power beam. Grab Boren's mind spike if you need one. He's drawn. Okay. This is different. Hey guys, thanks for making it this far. Um, I just want to, well, first of all, thank you. Uh, the support has been insane right now. Um, I woke up this morning with basically almost 600 subs. It, it's crazy. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, I have a lot of content coming up. Uh, we are actively live streaming every day at 6 p.m. Eastern, GMT minus four, GMT minus five. Uh, the link for that is in the description. I'm more than welcome to you know, join the live stream, chat with us live, um, actually experience the full discussion as you're kind of seeing on the videos right now. And speaking of the videos, I'm going to keep them about 12 to 15 minutes in length. Uh, and I know right now it's a lot of me kind of like rambling and relearning the game and experiencing stuff. But the past few days we've been doing nothing but quests. So we're going to have some highlights of that and it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually having a good time. I'm starting to care about the lore in this game, and this is something that I haven't cared about in RuneScape ever before. Also, we're still working a bit on the editing quality, because right now we're taking the streams um, completely recorded while I am live streaming, so it's a little bit different. We're starting to find a happy medium about how we want to keep everything edited and keep the flow of all that kind of stuff going. So it's not going to be a bunch of like bulk down content. Believe it or not, this uh, 12, 13 minute video or whatever it is, is actually almost two hours worth of a live stream. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, uh, but it's a lot to go through and edit and to cut down. There was a lot of discussions that we were having on the Twitch chat for sure. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't even speak. Man, this sucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in some later episodes or even live on the Twitch stream. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.